for your first must get pal it's going to be a daydream absolutely amazing in battle it can do a massive amount of damage but the main reason why i want to say it's the best and overpowered is because it comes with dream chaser so while you're in combat basically this attacks whoever you're attacking with magic bullets but also it allows you to have two pals out at once as you can see right here i've got my daydream out and i've also got my tansy out at the same time and i can then hit this gun moss and it's going to do a massive amount of damage to it basically almost killing it straight away and this is absolutely amazing at the start of the game because you can do a high amount of damage to these pals that normally are hard to kill and this helps you out massively the only issue i will say though is that daydream does have a really close range it has to be at to be able to do a good amount of damage if not and you it tries to do a long range attack it's going to disappear before it even touches the pal so that is a downside but i do suggest that you guys get one because dps early on in this game is a major major thing that you need to focus on especially if you're trying to gather as many materials as you can so a double team works out really well so to get yourself a daydream, these are the locations you have to come to at night time and you'll be able to catch one. You can get them early on. So don't worry. These are probably one of the first pals you want to pick up. My number two overpowered pal is a Tombat. So this comes with a really crazy skill. It's ultrasonic sensor. So early on in game, you're looking for loads of different types of pals. And this has that skill that obviously highlights them to you. So if I then press ultrasonic, he's then going to cause a pulse that comes up on my minimap showing me what pals are nearby. So if you're hunting for a certain pal, this is a really, really good one to have because it helps you narrow down where to go and if you need to jump up refresh. Entirely, entirely one of the best useful pals you can get early on. I've not seen many people talk about it, but that isn't just it either. He has more tricks up his sleeve. So he does come with a work speed of 70, but he does have many skills. He has gathering level two, he has mining level two, as well as transport level two. And this is insane to have early on in game. This can give you a massive lift in resources and especially the amount of things that he can do. Not many pals can do that at the start of the game so efficiently. So where can you find him? Well, you can find him early on in the starting areas and this has to be at night time once again. Here's another one that you're going to have to wait till night time and you'll be able to get this overpowered pal in your squad. So for some honorable mentions, we have got Kativa and Lift Monk as well as Tansy. These are really, really good early on in game because they can do a great amount of different things. So Tansy is probably one of the best if I have to choose out of Lift Monk and Tansy. Reason for that is because Tansy can also transport stuff as well as do everything that Lift Monk basically can. The only thing different Lift Monk can do is medicine production and that is something you're not really going to do to the later game anyway. So I won't worry too much about that. Penglet is obviously great. It's the probably earliest one you can find that can do watering. So definitely something you want to pick up. And is a calling feature. Probably isn't something you're really going to use until the later stages of the game also. But one of my favorites is obviously Vixie. So the reason why I like Vixie is for its partner skill. It digs and it obviously finds you power spheres. It finds you arrows and a bunch of things. If you want a guide on that and how to get this, then check out my video on my channel. I have already posted a few videos helping you guys out early on in game. And then also a rush ore. So this one is got to be a mount that you need at the start. So you can get loads of ore from ore deposits if you charge at it while mounted so a rush ore is really really good if there's anything that you feel like i've probably missed out early on then drop a comment down below and let me know so mel packer might be another one that i think i've just missed out on reason for this mel packer is your first mount that actually is pretty nimble and can get you around to exploring different places so two mounts that you definitely want is going to be the rush ore and the mel packer mel packer just got that speed over the rush ore and it's so much more nimble if you want to hop around and do some fighting. So for our final one today, we're going to be taking a look at Dinosum. So this is another overpowered one because it is a dragon as well as grass type, but also comes with some great skills that you need early on. So planting level two and lumbering level three. These are absolutely massive. They can do a ton of resources for you. So highly suggest picking up one of these. I'll show you exactly where to find them right now. 
you can see once again you can get them all in the starting area during the daytime they're a really really good power to have definitely something you want in your squad so please make sure you smash that like button hit that notification bell thank you so much for watching see you guys in the next one peace